Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. In this reading, I will be looking at the current energies, the person on your mind, the possible outcomes. What is the new person coming in, if you're looking for or waiting for a new person to come in, and other details as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well, and I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can check the schedule of the readings, it is in the description box below this video. Okay, let's begin. Let's shuffle four times the deck and let's begin with the current energies. There's some reunion happening here and it is coming from a situation that you have been waiting for quite such a long time and the moment you when you give up and you lose hope that's when this reunion happens that's what i'm getting but let's see more details it is either coming from a water sign pisces cancer scorpio i have earth here as well but possibly water somebody has feelings here and that's why this reunion happens now what is affecting you in your subconscious that you might not be aware of you still cannot forgive them for being so cold and detached towards you, for being so upset with you or for cutting off the connection immediately. Now, what was the main challenge in the past? Being very, very guarded, not wanting to understand each other or not feeling understood, trust issues. There was so much friction for this connection to move forward. Now, what you are looking forward and what is your hope is a person that is responsible, focused, takes charge of the situation, is financially independent uh, and wants something serious. Okay, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Now, I don't know exactly if either there's some insecurity to you because somebody lied to you in uh, a past love story or if this was this person that lied to you in the past, you have some fear around a liar or somebody cheating on you. That is your biggest fear. Now let's see about this person that is on your mind. What are their current energies at this moment of time, their overall energy? Queen of Pentacles, I do see much more stability. Uh, them being more mature, more focused. Now this person is a bit confused right now and why is that? It is because they think they might have missed the opportunity that it might be very late for them to change the situation. That's why they are very hesitant. Now, what is affecting them in their subconscious? This indecision, this hesitation, if they should drop this connection or not. What is on their mind? Yes, they are trapped in this uh, situation still energetically. They don't know how to get out of this and find the solution to make it better but how did they enter this connection in the beginning i think that uh, okay let's clarify why the three of wands they had a deep desire for you they were instantly attracted towards you they were waiting for a connection like that i think you were the manifestation of their dreams of what they were thinking or trying to manifest as their partner lots of attraction chemistry was very strong i think they felt in love immediately highly attracted towards you in the beginning now what are they planning to do next They still do have desire for you, but the main reason why they are uh, confused, despite them not being quite sure if it is too late, it is the heaviness of that connection. If they were to come back and restart it at this moment of time, they would come with lots of baggage from the past. I don't think they have healed totally from what happened in the past, and that might bring some confusion to the situation. So they want to chase you, they want to approach you, but here they are, possibly stopped, by this hesitation 
And look at this, Three of Swords, they might still be in pain or they still remember uh, the deep pain of that breakup. Now, if you want to know even more details about this person that is on your mind, there's an extended video with even more details about their current energies. I will see some of your energies as well. Okay, let's continue the reading with the new person. If you're waiting for a new person, let's see what is the overall energy of the next new person coming in. Okay, I think this will start as a friendship in the beginning and then it will grow to deeper and deeper. It is only it is only after the friendship that they will get some attraction and love and feelings for you. This is a person that rushes into decisions. They are very not very patient. They don't want to wait forever for something to happen. But I think in the beginning there's this strong friendship that uh, builds up. Somebody feels very broken here. So this is the energy of the person coming in, the new person. I think that they don't want to be in a connection. They are not looking for a connection because they are heavily broken. I'm not quite sure if they ever felt in love before. Or there's this impression that they have been so defeated by those past breakups that they don't trust that there is love. They don't think it is real what you see in the movies. They are... they think that is an exaggeration of love that we read in romantic uh, books and movies. So there's a person that is not trying to, to look for a connection. This is the person you will be in a relationship with. This is a person that might have some age difference or they are very very mature they might look very very mature for their age the expression of the attraction starts to happen a little bit later but what are your impressions in the beginning about this person you see a very guarded person that does not want to open up that much or be vulnerable a very protective person that has big walls around them to protect them you can notice it immediately but do you have any feelings or attraction for them yes you think that this is a person you can marry if you were to make a decision the very first moment you will meet them you come to that conclusion immediately that this is the person you will be marrying with you see potential there for stability but you see a very very guarded person that needs lots of work for for them to be opening up to you and be vulnerable uh, to you a frightened person frightened to to be in love again that's the kind of impression you will get about this person that's how you will get to know who is this person you will be in a relationship with this is the new person coming in Okay, Sagittarius, this was your general reading. If you like this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day and you can check the schedule of the readings. It is in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.